Hey guys, Vivi-chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So we are finally going to get into the last anime reaction of the Hunter x Hunter 2011 anime series with episodes 147, 148. It's been a long ride and I know I could have finished the series like probably two weeks ago but I've been sort of dragging it on like I really don't like the feeling when a great series and of course there's the manga but that's a totally different experience I'm gonna miss this anime and and I never thank the studio for creating such great animations with the soundtrack so I'd like to thank studio Madhouse for this and if I know like for sure that there's like an anime in three years I would have I will wait for that but since we have no confirmation like a lot of you are asking me to get into the manga I'm, I'm thinking about it but for now let's just get into these last two episodes and I'll talk more about it at the end let's go So cute. She is so cute, them eyes. Kiru. She never was a bad. Oh, and then we got Gon crying. Next time you'll do things differently. Absolute promise. Oh man, guys. Who machine Kimi wa matamate yuku Tenshi no hono hemite Sureta shite Alright, well so far gone has sort of ac accomplished his goal of meeting Jing. Jing, Jing, I know I keep saying his name wrong, but I see Jing, but he says Jing. But, I mean, that's not the end of the series, because we he still hasn't, like, when you think about it, his goal is to find out why Jing wanted to be a hunter so badly that he would, like, leave his son behind. Like, why leave his family behind not even like Gon but like Mito-san like she hasn't seen him in so long she, she he left the family around Gon's age 11 to no 11 12 to go on this journey so yeah and the first thing Gon did when he saw Jin he was like I'm so sorry and all that and then after all everyone's like you're the worst father I mean in my head I already knew so it's not like I was expecting him to be like oh apologetic so worst father is Jin and man, that uh, Pakistan so crafty and intelligent. But now what? Gon is coming to um, look for Kirua to apologize, and also how do the Zodics feel? And we also have to see her meet him, meet Reina Kite. Man, she looks like she has red hair just like yours. Wait, huh? She has red hair. Mm -hmm, like instant death, no torture. Wait, is this not Reina Kite? Cause the red hair. Okay, so he knows his memories too.
so he was trying to change that. He didn't want to kill anymore. I wanted to give her an escape from that psycho. Like, last time we saw Reyna, a few days ago, a week ago, she was like a little six-year-old. Yeah, that's why he killed her. To stop the cycle. The queen ate hundreds of humans. Maybe like she has more than one soul, like besides kite. Like she looks like a teenager. So I don't know. You're inside the body of a means she escaped oh he went to visit the koala to confirm something But your soul from your human side is still... Like, does he remember all of this too? Oh my god, we're getting into like science. I'm gonna take notes. Have my test, the finals coming up. Yeah, like they have like billions of years of DNA. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Soul is small but enough energy to repeat the cycle. Whoa, such like a deep thinking and like the meaning of purpose of life. I failed to provide my soul with when I was alive. So now that you're reborn, are you trying to like accomplish that? To fulfill something? If 
but first he said he wasn't gonna repeat the cycle and then now he's like i have to repeat the cycle but it's for like for different things yeah he should have been killing her but then he didn't want to kill her because he doesn't want that cycle to go on No, that's a good thing. You wanted to stop them from, from like, you know, torturing, eating the girl. So she had an instant death. Uh, but he was doing it for himself. Hmm. You look like that girl. So she is... Whoa, her eyes. You will repay for everything. Every day you'll apologize to me and devote your life to me. Mm. I think he felt bad, but her saying this sort of gives him life. Like... Oh, okay, so it is. I don't know why I'm so shocked, but like, because I, I didn't think they called her Kai. I thought they would call her, I don't know, Reina still? But she wanted to be called Kai. Like, she's, she's like teenager now. Like, She just listened to his story. Now she's like, what are you sorry for? Is he, is she gonna tell him you gotta stay by my side and like, kind of that? Both need some training. Yes, Jean, you better have a talk with Gon. Don't say you're busy.
Okay, okay, she doesn't look that old. At first she looks like a teenager, now she looks like elementary school. Wow, she's cool. I was scared she, like, changed. Hmm? All right, and I like that Gon is being himself again. Like, I, I miss this Gon, because before, you know, all Chimera ants are Gon was, like, dark side. Now it's just more cheerful himself. Like, the, the hatred is, like, gone. Maybe, like, the healing that Aruka and Anika did. Yeah, live life to the fullest. Don't take the easy way out. Yeah, this time. Alright, Chiruru is the new... Don't tell me he's gone. He's gone, right? Or there's a panda bear. <sighs> I'm waiting atop the world tree. Thank you, thank you. He's At least he's still around. Oh, is the world tree like, you know, where the hunter exam? All the way... Oh, they met up! No, this is a different place. It's... Oh, this was in the uh, opening, wasn't it? The the tree. I was like, what's the significance? Oh, the, usually they would show this first, and then, yeah. Oh no, they were, I thought they were close to the tree, but no, they have to like, they're on the top of a mountain and they have to go through the town. 500 meters, you'll be risking your life. Oh, the cat face! 94% failed to reach the 1 meter, 1,000 meter. <laughs> like, I reached up there, save me! <laughs> 1% fall and die. 30 people make it. 30 out of a thousand. Wait, did they say a thousand? <laughs> They're just sightseeing. I love that Aruka is like part of their group now. Oh, we didn't get to see the apology. I thought... Makes you feel very guilty. <laughs> this is for all the suffering that Kiro had to do for you. Sh oh my god, he's having like a little... <laughs> in front of everyone. Little tantrum.
Wow, Kirio has that much power on. I'm, but he's not gonna use it for. Like, you know how when she heals someone, she becomes really nice? But, like, the level of healing she had to do for Gon, like, does that... I mean, as long as she's healing, like, it's okay. Because the person who makes a bad wish is the one cursed upon. So... Yeah, one for one. It feels like they're gonna separate. Like, Gon is gonna go on some adventure and Kirua... But it's... Look at their eyes, like a bright blue. <sighs> no, no! Here comes the waterworks! <laughs> Not even on 148 and it's already like wow wow wig sun on um heaven's arena arc fighting the phantom true pakunoda machi oh wait this is the green island song that i love <laughs> We never even really like learn about Ken, Ko, Ryu, and Chu, except that one time. Yeah, I had Greed Island with Razor and Chimera Ant Arc, Knuckle. Oh my gosh, the feels! When he couldn't beat Knuckle and... Right when they infiltrated. <laughs> oh my gosh, episode 131. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. No. All right, next, man. Oh my goodness, the ending. Like, it's just so emotional with the tears. Man, this looks like... I'm guessing there's no opening. I was ready to sing the opening and... I think the opening will play at the end. Oh, Mito-san. Yeah, he wanted to see why. Why he was willing to abandon his kid to be a hunter.
Yeah, I we thought the once they met up would be like so far in the future, like it'd be like finding the one piece, it'd be... <laughs> wow. Jim was also like 11, 12 when he left home, right? Oh, they're still together. I thought they like separated already. Or is this sort of like a flashback, you know? Right before he climbs the tree. <sighs> okay. It, it got like quiet with the title and then the symphonic... Oh, there's like, are those stairs or? Yeah. Not stairs, but like, you know, it wraps around a trail. No, I can't find a word. The bridge. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, oh my God, it was like episode like one, two, three. Satots with a kite. Oh my gosh, uh, what's the annoying guy's name who tried to like uh, scam them during the exam? Opening the Zodic door. Where is Kurapika? He needs to be here. I know he's busy. Gotodo, Wingsan, unleashing our Nen, finding out our uh. If we're like enhancer, manipulator, defeating uh, Nobunaga, Krolo. Where's Krolo? I mean, I know you guys aren't gonna answer it because of spoilers, but. Oh. oh my gosh, defeating Gensru. Like, I'm getting excited, like running faster, like. Oh. Palm. Oh yeah, and then there's those like five thousand cocoons. Oh my god, I love this part. When we see that like big eye cheerful going again, hugging Leodio. Oh, he hasn't even gone. You have to be 18? Hunter license. All right, the black bird. Does that signify something? All right, so I guess the bottom part is kind of like a tourist area and now the climb officially begins. Like, is he gonna have to jump? Holy moly, you gotta... Barehanded. Jing's already waiting. Like, Jing has so much faith. Like, I know Gon's not gonna die, like. Or. Oh, and that's the bracelet. Look up. These episodes just make me feel like I want to travel, I want to go out, I want to go climb a mountain, go hiking, like...
Yeah, listening to the voice of nature. You paint with the colors of the wind and like feel the nature. Oh. <laughs> Here's the like 5% that needs help. Oh, he gave the bracelet to him. That's nice. Looks like a bird's nest. See, he's gonna see like a huge baby bird up there. Or will it just be Jing helping? <laughs> what mystical beast is this? Don't fall! <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Sounds like a Pokemon. Yo, yo, yo. They're gonna be like, food! <laughs> no. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> and so casual. He doesn't look like, you know, a mess, a vagabond. Okay, so 500 down is Taurus, and then 500 up. 20 minutes for... Wow, the sea is like a sparkling green like it looks like the water and then the clouds are just over it like floating on top of it yeah you're always chasing after something Beal, beal, beal. <laughs> to get money? Oh, to get to the place I wanted to go. Yeah, what place? Royal Family's Burial Ground. Trustworthy organization and never speak of it. You have to pay all the expenses. Oh, and then to be a hunter, he gets the money and he can try to get in. Oh, archaeology. That's his, like, specialty. I like the soundtrack. I feel like they played it during Greed Island. Yep, the money is a problem. Wow, when he was 15. <laughs> Doing a Leo Rio. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's not. Is this like, I'm thinking of Greed Island when he created, you know how there was like 10 people? Greed
Mm-hmm. Oh, regular people. Wow. Okay. Wow, these are genuine, nice people, passionate people. Like the friends you created on this journey together. What, yeah. So <clears throat> it can still grow, but it stopped growing because there's not enough nutrients. So he's trying to find, find a way would take in magma. Whoa, look at the electricity in the trees. Leaving the atmosphere, what? Outside this world, we're gonna get there? Really? They don't teach us. They don't. Of course not. It's like classified. Oh, they're aliens. And then, so going like he. Oh my god, we just turned into, I don't want to compare it to Dragon Ball Z, but like, you know, a Dragon Ball we were just our little world, and then somehow we have like other worlds. Oh my god, this looks like a poneglyph. Oh my gosh, so far we're in the Pandora box. He's like, let's open it and like explore the other world. Oh my gosh. But he still wants the same things. <clears throat> Yeah, that is a good dream. Something I can't see. Whoa. Wow, it's so beautiful. The sunset, it was like bright blue sky, yellow sun. Now it's like red. Four? Oh. Authoritation, the means, qualification, a contract. Oh. Wow.
the star in the sky. To find the things more important than what you want. It's, it's, yeah, mom coming back. Oh, returning his, uh, Oh my god, even sleeping is cute. <sighs> wow, they had just a nice day, a whole day talking. I am... S s Is that like for the Zoldik's mansion to go in? Wow, they're like just talking the night away. <laughs> Did he go home to Mito san? No, he wrote a letter. Kotoku demo hitori janai sa. Yanate kita koto ni kanarazu imigaeru yu. Oh, it's the full version. I heard the full version, but you know, there's extra parts. He did he make a bet? <laughs> Smile again. You go away. Materu Humishimete. Ah, Isaac Netero, your will will stay on forever. We'll never forget it. Kanpai. Aw. They keep like a little desk for him. Shoot is fine. All of them chimeras. Oh, they're all together in the same room. Wait, what are they watching? Akira menai sa yari tsutsukeru koto ni kanarazu imigaeru I saw you Leo Rio switching the no, I'm just kidding they're all watching something and I think they'll it'll show us later on maybe Kurapika man Kurapika you've been sitting in that chair too long you got to get out I think yeah regarding the phantom troops he's still oh and he recovered a lot of the scarlet eyes of his clans, Kurta clans. It's a grave for Goto, the coins. It's like, you worried about Kirua? It's like, nope. I know he'll be okay. He's got his friends. <gasps> Oh, someone, oh, it's one of them. It's like, let me pay you back for a uh, Kirua.
Oh, he became one of the butlers? Are you ready to take on? <laughs> Is this in the the end the East Gorto, you know, the castle? What's left in there? Are we gonna see like Goongi board? And cause like I assume after they Oh my god, they're still there, the Marshal and the Spy holding these are the white birds that um that one girl working for Kai was talking about. She, her. Oh my gosh, these last two episodes, man. First off, gotta thank Yoshihiro Togashi for writing such a wonderful, detailed, natural feeling of a manga series. Like, this has got to be a masterpiece of a series. Like, I enjoyed each and every arc, although some parts like because it's so complex with all the little details that it entails it just like makes you rewatch the episode it makes you pay attention there's always things that just catch me by surprise because it's not like a typical stereotypical shonen anime there's like different elements to it that makes it unique and yeah from the first arc like everything is just really fast paced and because things are natural I'm always thinking like there's gonna be a fight that escalates like there's just gonna be something that's just gonna happen that will make this like because you know most shonen fights has like huge fight and then it'll solve everything peace but in this one it's just very natural transitions to the next arc like first off this would be leaving home that first episode it was just so fast like everything that happened because like I remember watching the original Hunter Hunter 1999 series and like I think talked about Kite and how he was influenced and then there was more like dynamics between Mito-san, Mito's grandma and Gon like you see more of that family dynamic but here it was just sort of really fast and like you know they give us little bits here and there to go back but overall for like I still remember episode one we just go to the fish market kind of and like Gon has just caught that huge fish and then he's like Mito-san like I did it now you can allow me permission to go be a hunter and then right off the bat she like we didn't really get to see her giving him the fishing rod because like Gon has always had it she just like explains like you know you're really precious to me I'm not even sure if it took up half the episode but it just went straight to the hunter exam we're on the boat and then he meets Leo Rio and Kurapika and then throughout the whole thing like sometimes it's just I'm overthinking I'm thinking like oh it's gonna be something really complex and difficult but it's just very simple like like overhearing like oh you shouldn't ride the bus because that's gonna lead you to the wrong place and then even passing the person he's like who do you treasure more your mom or your sister like there's no right answer for that it's just like very simple yeah and then we make it and you know I expect the fight to be like crazy fights but it's just like very logical and like straight to the point nothing like dragged on really long like everything was usually solved within that episode if not the next and yeah even like when we like got our hunter license like it, it wasn't even like a typical like tournament like I'm like oh we have to fight that's like what usually happens no there's like rules like you have to try to make the other person give up you know you can't just like kill them off because you're just like be disqualified like 
that's what Kirua did. He killed that one guy, Bodro. Mostly because of Irumi. If you don't go back, like, your friends will be hurt. Yeah, I wonder how he feels towards Aruka now. Like, I, I know the family feels better now since, like, we see Aruka and Nanika out in the open. Because they realize as long as she can heal, she'll be a good person. She's not a bad person in general. And, like, as long as she's with Kirua, Kirua will protect her forever it's just so beautiful the zodics like i know kirua respects his dad a lot his brothers i'm not really sure his relationship with karuto because we don't really see that but you know he loves aruka and miruki and eh. irumi he's kind of scared but his mom he finds annoyance with i'm not really sure his relationship with his grandpa is but you know he, his grandpa did talk to him a little bit during the chimera ant arc after like you saw with netero and he just left but he does respect his dad a lot i remember that arc going to the zoldix like you think oh my gosh so scary like crazy mom like how is that arc going to go and yeah his dad just like just protect your friends blood thumb swear promise and he, he lets him go i mean they're like okay he'll re he'll come back in the future but they let him go and then he, they're on their journey together. I think what happens next is we go to uh, Heaven's Arena. Leo Rio goes to be a doctor and Kurapika finds out what happened with Phantom Troop while learning Nen from his own sensei. And then we go to the Heaven's Arena to like try to change. And Hisoka looked us up. I always underestimate Hisoka is because he's always holding back. He's never had to fight someone his level because everyone has been weaker than him. That's why he's trying to find people. You know, when you see him, he's like rating you. Oh, you're like a 95, you're like 70, 10. Like normal people are like way so weak. He doesn't want to fight him. But when he sees going, he's like, you have the potential. And he's always holding back like, I can't kill you because I can't wait for you to be like you know episode 131 the crazy super powered gun that i know and then i will be ready to fight you and love it like even you could see during like, with irumi's plan to kill aruka he, like hisoka's like thinking oh my gosh should i like kill aruka and then i'll get kirua's wrath should i kill kirua get irumi's wrath should i kill irumi so then gon doesn't have to die and then i can just have fun like so many options and it's driving him crazy like hisoka is just that joker of a person like i love him but he's crazy yeah heaven's arena we gain a little stronger we get to fight hisoka oh my gosh just i've enjoyed every single arc and even though we didn't defeat hisoka our main purpose was return that card and then try our best and i thought we were gonna go on to like defeat floor masters but no it's just natural like there's other things to do let's like go and yeah we were supposed to meet up with uh kurapika because like he teamed up with Hisoka to find out when the Phantom Troop are gonna meet at the auction is happening. So then we have all of Phantom Troop which arc which was fantastic. Krollo is a very interesting character. Like I don't think there's a single character that I hate. Like thinking about the whole series like I love every single character that they showed. I can't wait to learn more about Phantom Troop. They can't show more because like that's where the series end. Gotta read the manga. Wanna see how that fight with... I don't know if the fight with Hisoka and Krolo already happened or if it's just not yet. Hisoka say he traveled around the world to find Krolo and to fix him so... Yeah and then you know with the exorcist gone. But anyways after we get that one rich person bought all the greed island i think there was like 10 to 15 copies of greed island and then after he bought them all he had this trial for anyone to complete the game you will win like 50 million or 50 billion i forgot the exact number but like that arc was really chill and i remember people were telling me to like rush through it for chimera ant arc but still i thoroughly enjoyed greed island especially the end with the fight with genthru and meeting bisky like bisky is one of my favorite and i compare her to sailor moon on purpose because i know the author tagashi is married to author of sailor moon takeuchi naoko i've always been a fan of sailor moon since i was a kid so like looking her up like you know married to tagashi and i've read all of yu yu Hakusho. I haven't really watched the anime for Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm not gonna do a reaction to that. So I've been familiar with Tagashi's work. Like I remember going to the library when I was like in middle school and reading Yu Yu Hakusho. I think they had some volumes of Hunter x Hunter, but I have to go check. Yeah, Chimera Ant arc. Someone told me it was like 60 episodes. That whole thing, like a third-ish of the whole series. Like, whoa. Like, And then learning about Meruem and like his consciousness and like dilemma of his purpose in this world and like fighting between the moral side of being an ant or human and like even Netero's like the evolution of a human is evil you don't know how evil a human can be and the a miniature rose is sort of like the atomic bomb and you know the radiation that comes from the bomb is poisonous and yeah I'm like 
it's gonna get way too detailed to like explain all this but wow you know watching chimera and arc it was just like mind blown like went through a thunderstorm and like afterward it was just like how gon was sitting there and pito and like you can hear hollow winds blowing like that's how Chimera and Art election. Whoa, with the politics, I never imagined how much information is going through. Like, I'm the type of person where if it gets too complicated, I need to stop, rewatch it, rewind. But like, since it's a live reaction, I can't do that. So I felt very bad every episode for being like confused. What happened? What happened? And then like the next episode, I have to like explain or write in like the comments what i felt but like i mean i do rewatch it even like learning about nen was like really interesting like the amount of details that go into hunter hunter is just unbelievable thank you to studio madhouse for doing a phenomenal job of animating hunter hunter 2011. every single episode had beautiful arc and when a series has great soundtrack recognizable soundtrack that you just you will search up the soundtrack on your own that's when you know a series is great i love that the opening departure was the main theme for every single season season like every single like opening arc i remember first listening to it, i'm like eh and then after a couple times, it's just like stuck in your head, just The ending of the election was the most emotional. Like, the, I feel like the election has so, so much details and politics packed into it. Pay attention deeply. And then also the 5,000 cocoons. I didn't even talk about this episode, did I? Like, I just went straight into talking about the past arc. Like, at the beginning, where like the koala chimera. Like, I remember him early on in like episode 80s when he first appeared on Crunchyroll like the thumbnails right there so I've seen him before I just didn't recognize on the thumbnail that Kite was there saying Kite I think of the original Kite but like telling Kite about his red hair reminds me of a girl that he killed and he was saying that he was trying to stop this vicious cycle of like, taking people torturing them and like using them and he was killing her but he was doing it for himself and then he wanted to apologize to that girl in the way he didn't really do anything wrong in my head because he saved her in a way because if he didn't like she would have been eaten by the queen and turned into a chimera ant or you know she would have been tortured and eaten by the other chimeras so he did her a favor and I think Kite was like if you want to feel bad like live your life to the fullest and you will serve under me and help me out. Gon goes in there to explain and he's like it's okay we're friends just keep going and it's all happy. It's nice seeing Happy Gon again because all through Chimera and so dark. Yeah, and then we just went straight to seeing him and Kirua friends again. I guess we don't want to see the apology because it's so sad. But you know, they've made up and he meets Aruka and Nanika. And even though we saved Gon, they're telling Gon like you saved us because without you, like we wouldn't have courage to like heal you, try our hardest and to save Nanika Aruka too. I love in 147 we are already seeing like past episodes and everything. Yeah, like there's so many people's names I f didn't even mention. Like I didn't even talk about Wing Sun and how like he taught us Nen. I mean I mentioned him but I didn't say anything like teaching us about what our Hatsu is like emitter, enhancer, conjurer, specialist, manipulator, transmuter, you know with the water test and then for you know teaching us Nen, Ten, Retsu, Ren, and Hatsu. Gyo, yeah and then Biski taught us even more about how to use our Nen and then but like with Phantom Troop is when we truly learn about N and all of the members Machi, Feitan, Nobunaga. Hope to see more Karato because I, I want to see more of the Zoldex. Oh my gosh so much is going on. I don't want to end this because once I end it like that's it. I don't even know how I'm gonna do the manga chapters because like for one piece I can do if it's fast maybe 15-20 minutes for one chapter. How and with Hunter Hunter being so detailed I don't even know how I'm going how many chapters I can do in one video. It's gonna be like crazy and you know I, I don't want to read it like right where we left. I want to read it from chapter one to get all the information like with gyro and stuff. Yeah for the last episode it was just really beautiful like you can feel the wind blowing you like when when Gon is like looking up when he you like the wind the trees like feeling the energy and he's like we're in a pandora's box like looking up at the sky we we see the world tree has stopped because it's not having enough nutrients usually we have the magna like surge through the trees like electricity throughout it and like th this world tree is supposed to pass the atmosphere into outer space and i'm like 
we're not going there, are we? And we are. He's like, Chimera ants are actually aliens from another, from outer space, and they, like, invade, like, whoa, I'm, like, mind blown about that fact. And I love the phrase where, like, it's like, I'm always looking for what I can't see. Like, Ging was emphasizing, like, the friends he meets on the way, the detours and fun you have on the journey. It's not just about the goal. Like, the journey to the goal is also important. Like, if he didn't enjoy the journey, he wouldn't have met all these, like, great people. Like, the people who support him when he was 15 years old. Like, he said all of them were older than him. And, you know, normally you'd be like, Eh, I don't really like a kid don't really take them seriously but as long as you have a hunter license people treat you with respect I, I really don't like some most series that I've watched when like they see a kid they're all like Shh, eh, you're just a kid but in this series like once they recognize oh you have the hunter card like everyone like shows you a sign of respect they're like oh even though you're a kid you worked hard to get there like there's no judgment that you're too young it was just really nice he climbs up and he and Ging just talk throughout the day the night it was just wonderful and I love that Ging took the time to talk with his son because I mean with the um when they met for the first time at the, the chairman like assembly place like I knew even from Greed Island you know that Ging didn't want to meet Gon with other people around because he's embarrassed like he's not the type of person he's really passionate about his job about what he does being a hunter so I knew that like it wasn't gonna go well so that's why I wasn't like oh worst father of the year but we already know he is the worst father but he's not a bad person like it's not like oh he took going through all the dangers he knew it was gonna be rough so that's why he left him with mito -san. and then mito would you know she doesn't have any other family besides her grandma so like taking care of Gon, she can sort of have like a peace of mind she is the mother figure of Gon, and and it was Gon's own decision to seek Jing out like Jing was like you don't have to have any part of my life but Gon wanted to see what was so amazing about being a hunter that he chased after Jing. Okay, they have that same passion and the same like instinct. Like seeing them like interact, you can definitely tell that they're father son, and it was just really heartwarming to see. Of course, like Gon doesn't call Jing dad; he just calls him Jing. So you know they they still don't have that father son type of relationship, even though they're family. But he's just telling him one day we're gonna meet up again, and like hopefully in the future we can be on like that level of like interactions and all that. <sighs> but such a great series like in a part of me is scared to a part of me is scared to read the manga because the anime was just a joy to, i'm not saying the manga is bad and i do know that tagashi has like stress bag problems and the pride of writing the manga by himself that's why there's a lot of hiatus like i understand that I, it's not something new i've known i've known about this for many years that was one of the reasons why i didn't want to get into hunter hunter was because i knew about the hiatus i don't want to read something amazing and be deprived of it for unknown amount of time you know like with one piece like you know you're going to have like three chapters and then one week off for break that's like the schedule and the other shonens they're on every week because his writing is so great people let him off the hook i i think i was watching a video and, and like they said that the manga sales like if it was on the level of one piece it could probably rival one piece like i'm not saying one is better i'm just telling you like the facts so but i hear tagashi is working to find find someone to help him draw because he really needs that i saw the statement where he said that if he doesn't like start drawing hunter hunter regularly like he's going to pass before he even finishes and nobody wants that like with one piece oda has already like he knows the ending and he's like written it down in case like anything hopefully not happens to him but i don't know how like tagashi works if one day like he know more will his wife know about the ending like you know and i know for like yu yu Hakusho, he sort of like rushed the ending like of course he can definitely have made the series go on but he wanted to stop it right there take a break and i don't mind that tagashi has breaks every so often yeah it's been a great ride hunter hunter i have to give it like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece of an anime series i've had so much fun watching it the comedy was on point the emotions was on point the details was on point soundtrack was so wonderful the characters are lovable and rememberable and and every 
character got some kind of development since it's natural there could be outcomes that are not like stereotypical and there are fight scenes that are like accurate it's not too long it's not too short it's just right and it's just like so powerful and beautiful and it just makes you think of all i just can't get over the amount of details that go into this and this story is like interesting too and just seeing the dreams like there's like happy parts there's dark parts and and i think someone was asking me to like rate my top characters you know i love kirua he's my favorite character I'm not sure how Gon ranks, you know, like there's so many other people. I really like Kurapika, but since I haven't seen him for a while, like, I don't want to say his rating dropped, but um, because we haven't seen him, it's missing out. Leo Rio, really like him as a character. At first, like when he was first introduced, it was like, sometimes his yelling got a bit annoying, but like, in the end, he was like, he was always fighting for us, so I find that lovable. And like, the election arc just really made me love Leo Rio so much more. Meruem, the king, the royal guards, Neferpito, I'm thinking of everyone of the Nakamas that traveled with us. Palm, Nakuru, Nov, Morel, Shoot. My god, like how can you pick, how can you rank these characters best? Like Hisoka, Irumi, all of the Zodiacs. My goodness, like so many good characters, Bisky, like those are just top of my head, top 10 characters. I can't, yeah, I mean like these are main characters, but like I love not. And then the Phantom Troop, I forgot to mention them, but like, you know, a lot of people like Phaeton, Amachi, Nobunaga, the narrator. I would consider the narrator a character. <laughs> I really don't want to end this right now. It's gone like really long, but I think this is it. Leave me your questions and uh, I'll be sure to reply to them. And I'll see you guys for a reaction to another anime series. See you guys next time. Peace out.